Hello kiddos, it's Miss Sasha, your art teacher. I'm so happy to be back in class with you today. Do you remember what, kinds of, what kind of artist I am? Well, if you guess that I'm a visual artist, you are right. And guess what? You are all visual artists too. The supplies we will be using today will be two sheets of white paper and an assortment of colored crayons, including black, and your creative imagination. Now is a good time for you to pause the video and gather all of your supplies. Now that you've gathered all your supplies, let's get started. Okay, um, I want you to notice everything that I have on the wall. We're gonna have our picture. We're gonna have our paper that we're gonna draw our picture on. This is gonna be our practice paper. So if you have two pieces of paper, the first one we're going to use today is gonna be our practice paper, okay? So today we're gonna talk all about nursery rhyme and some of the skills that you've been learning and practicing in your classroom with your teacher. Um, we are gonna draw a picture together. So go ahead and get out your practice piece of paper and a black crayon. I'll get you, give you a second to uh, gather that. Okay. We're gonna use our black crayon um, to draw most of our project and it's gonna become like a color book page. We've done this before on our last couple of projects. All right, here we go. Um, on this piece of paper, we're going to practice again, like I said, for our masterpiece. Does anybody know what a masterpiece is? Well, a masterpiece is a person's greatest piece of artwork. And today, we're gonna try our hardest and we're going to follow directions and you're not gonna go ahead of me and we're gonna do our best job on our art piece. Nobody's is gonna look the same and nobody's is going to be perfect because we're still just practicing and we're still just learning. All right guys, let's get our fingers all warmed up so we can um, do our best job on our drawing. Okay, here's our little fingers. Let's go ahead and wiggle them. Perfect. All right, it's always good to warm your drawing hands up. Okay, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Maybe put your, your hands back and then forward. Back and forward. Perfect, now let's do like windshield wipers, side to side, side to side. Remember to stay in your bubble. That means you're not touching anybody next to you. Perfect. Now let's see if you can do one little finger at a time till all are down. Good. And we can open them back up again. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, that's hard. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Wiggle them again. Perfect. I know you've been practicing some of your skills in class, so we're gonna do that with our little hands too. So with our fingers or your hand, you can make a zigzag line. Remember, zigzag goes up, down, up, down, up, down. And you can do little ones, look up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, right? Zigzag. Maybe you can look around your classroom and see if you see any zigzags. If you see one, maybe just point to it. See one over there, do you see one over there? Good, all right, let's make some cup lines. Cup lines are like the letter U. They're lines that go upside down, like a little bowl or a little cup, right? Go down, start at the top, go down and around and stop on the other side. Perfect, okay. Now, look around, do you see any cup lines in your classroom? Hmm, looking all around, up, down, all around. Perfect. All right, how about some hump lines? Humps are like bumps, right? They kind of rhyme. So a hump line goes bump or hump, right? A little hill might be in a bump or a hump line. Hump, right? Maybe your other hand, hump. If you put a few humps together, right? Perfect, look around the room. See any humps? Ooh, I see one. To the left, to the right, up, down. Good, all right, let's do some circles. Start at the top, go around. Go around with your other hand. Maybe at the same time, 
like making eyeglasses round and around perfect make a little little tiny circle Whoop. did you see how tiny mine was I'm gonna do it with my other hand Whoop. so tiny good all right triangles those might be a little hard but I know you can do it triangles if you start at the top you make two diagonal lines and a horizontal line so up down kind of like a zigzag up down and horizontal across the bottom up down horizontal across the bottom and we're going to practice those on our paper in a minute okay all right if there's any other lines you want to practice or skills or triangles go ahead and do your favorite one i'm going to do a circle and i'm going to do a triangle circle is my favorite what's your favorite perfect all right so here we go i want you to go ahead and grab your black crayon and your practice piece of, of white paper i lost my black crayon here it is it was in my pocket okay look at my paper your practice piece of white paper it's horizontal that means it goes across it is not tall it's across in front of you okay like a horizon line all right now we're going to draw a straight line across the page in the middle that's going to be our horizontal line remember this is our practice we're not drawing on the other piece of paper we're not drawing this picture we're only using black okay here we go so do a straight horizontal across your page in the middle find the middle of your paper and go all the way across okay that was really easy I bet y'all did a good job all right you let's do zigzags let's do a zigzag at the top is this the top no is this the top no this is the middle we already did the middle and this is the bottom so this is the top of our page we're going to do a zigzag line at the top of our page watch up down up down up down maybe you want to do little ones up down up down up down big little big little zigzag line that goes across your page it's all of these lines are going horizontal okay good everyone has their zigzag line perfect we're still using our black crayon let's practice some cup lines some cups at the bottom of our paper not up here this is the top this is the middle this is the bottom these are our cups cup is like like a cup watch leave a space leave a space what about little ones good go ahead and practice drawing your cup lines I'll give you a second to go ahead and practice with your cups go all the way horizontal across the bottom of your paper all righty how about humps we did this in the air humps are like bumps or little hills we're gonna go right above our straight line watch hump hump can I do little humps I think I can look little hump there you go you do it y'all are doing a great job are you still using your black crayon because I am if you're using a different color you're not ready okay let's do some circles and then we'll do triangles and we'll be ready to get started on our little paper okay here we go let's do circles underneath our straight line big circles I could do circles inside of circles circles next to circles little circles big circles go all the way across your paper doing circles of all sizes I think circles are a lot easier than triangles but we'll, we'll practice triangles also 
All right, triangles. Two diagonal lines like a zigzag line, just like a zigzag line, go up, down, and across a horizontal line. You try it. It's okay if it's tall and skinny, right? And it's okay if it's wide, because you're just practicing. We're just learning how to do triangles, okay? It's not a big deal. Big ones, little ones. You can always practice triangles later too. You're only gonna get better. Perfect. All right, y'all ready? Let's get started on our next little, on our masterpiece, right? Our best work, our greatest piece of work. All right, everybody ready to get started? I'm gonna read you a few nursery rhymes. We're gonna talk about them for a second and then we're gonna start on our masterpiece, okay? You might have heard these already. If not, just be good, good listeners, okay? Um, our first one is Little Boy Blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. But where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. That's our first one. Okay, you ready for the second one? Shake your head if you are. Looks like everybody's ready. Okay. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and can't tell, tell where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. Got it? And this is our third one. Remember, you may or may not have heard them, but that's okay. Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. All right, think about what all three of those fairy tales, what animal does do all three of the fairy tales have in them? Think about it, think, think, think. If you said sheep, you're right. All three of those nursery rhymes have sheep in them, okay? So this is where our picture is going to go. This is what we're gonna get started drawing on. Okay, get your bodies ready. Get your legs under your desk and your seats all pushed in and hold your crayon up, okay? Make sure your new piece of paper is horizontal in front of you, just like mine. That's a cross, just like our practice paper. Okay, you ready? Perfect. We are going to draw a sheep in the very middle of our paper. We're gonna draw the sheep one step at a time, okay? So find the very middle of your paper. In the very middle of your paper using your black crayon, I want you to draw a horizontal line. Oops, mine's a little higher than the middle. It's okay. Got it? All right. Now we're gonna draw two vertical lines that go down on each side. Vertical lines are like top to bottom lines. Okay. We're drawing his little head. Okay. I want you to draw two diagonal lines that don't touch. We don't want them to touch. Watch. One, two. See? There's a little space right there. And then we can close it up. Yep, it's already looking like his little head. All right. On the two sides, right here on our two little vertical lines, we're gonna do a curved line and a curved line. See, just like this. Inside those little curved lines, put two little dots. Those are his little eyeballs. Got it? Now he can see. Ready? On this little horizontal line that you have down here, you can make it a little bit darker, like his little tiny mouth. Okay, we're gonna make his little nose. Look his little nose, it's like a letter V, right? Look at this giant sheep, he's got a little V. Okay, watch, a number one, a little tiny vertical line. And let's do two diagonal that makes the letter V. And that is his little face. Okay. Perfect. Now he has ears. 
Look at this sheep's ears. I'm going to show you another sheep. Look at this sheep's ears. Notice that the sheeps are not all the same color. This one's got black ears. This one's got kind of white ears. This one is all white. What is the fur or the hair on the sheep called? Anybody have any good guesses? If you guessed wool, you are right. This is wool. Get rid of these. Okay, let's do his ears. His ears are like two ovals that are at the top corners of our horizontal line. Look. And you can go ahead and color those two ovals in. Some sheep have big ears and some sheep have small ears and it's fine. He's missing something very important right now though, right? <laughs> Maybe his body. What shape is this? It's a circle. Look at this sheep. He's got a big circle for a body. He's looking straight at us just like this sheep is, right? He's just staring at us. Okay, so we're gonna give our sheep a body. Oh, look, you can put a little bit of hair on the top, a little zigzag line. You can keep it white or you could color it in. Either way is fine. Okay, all right, let's do his body. Look, it's a circle. It goes around his head. Don't make it this big because you'll take up all of your paper. We need room for his environment. So don't do it too big. Just start above at the top and go around all the way around and meet back up at the top and then stop. Don't do anything else yet. Everybody has a nice sheep shape. <laughs> all right, how many legs does a sheep have? Does a sheep have two, like us, like you and I? Nope. The sheep has four legs. Okay, look, two in the front and two in the back. I just did four side by side and you can do them. Look, there's one little rectangle, two, three, and four. You go ahead and add your legs. I'm gonna color mine in black while you're adding yours. There you go. Go ahead and do your legs. Do you think wool is soft? Or do you think it's rough? Or hard? Bumpy? I think that this sheep looks really, really soft. And guess what? Since the sheep's fur or hair is made out of wool, sometimes you might have some clothing made out of wool. We use wool to keep us very warm in the winter. Some people have wool blankets. Some people have wool hats or mittens or gloves. Those are all things that our clothing is made out of wool. We would not wear wool in the middle of the summer. It's too hot. Okay, you wear wool in the winter time. We're about to have to wear wool soon because it's starting to get cooler in the air. Okay, everybody has your sheep's body. My sheep looks like he's got really short legs. That's okay though. All right, so we're gonna add some wool to our sheep's body now, okay? Wool, and the wool are cup lines. They're like letter U's all over his wool body, okay? Go ahead and add some cup lines. Perfect. After you've added your cup lines, you can put your black crayon away. Let me get my crayon. Perfect. We'll give you a few more seconds to add your wool body, and then we'll start working on our background. While you're adding your cup lines, I'll tell you a few sheep facts. Uh, let's see. Sheeps like, sheep like to stay together in herds. A herd is like a group of sheep. Right? It's easier for them to move together and they can be taken care of by the shepherd, which is a male, like a boy or a man, or a shepherdess, which is a woman or a girl, and they take care of the sheep. They also have like sheep dogs that they'll use to take care of the herd of sheep and to keep them safe at night, right? 
They're called guardian dogs. They stay with the group of animals or sheep that, and they're there to protect them. Um, they're not there to move them around, but to kind of stay hidden in case they see some danger. They'll scare the danger or the intruders away. Okay. Good. Everybody has their cup, cup, wool body all done. Great. Go ahead and get your brown crayon. Brown. I've got mine. Mine doesn't have any paper. It's broken, but it's perfect. We're going to color in his little face. Remember, after I've showed you how to make a sheep, then you can go practice drawing more sheep, and you can do them whatever colors you want. So I'm going to color just his face brown. And on this one, just like his little nose or the bridge of the nose, I colored it a little bit darker just to make it look like he has a bridge of his nose like that. See? Looks good, huh? How's yours coming out? Give me a thumbs up if yours look, looks great. Perfect. Remember, it doesn't have to look just like mine. I want it to look just like yours. It's your masterpiece. When you're all done with brown, you can put your brown away and get green. Green. We're going to use green to make our horizon line. It's going to be our straight line that goes across our page, okay? All the way across. Find like the part of your sheep, not down here by the legs, but almost the middle of the page. Watch. You can go straight across. Don't go through your sheep though. Jump over your sheep and go to the other side and go straight across. We're going to keep our green for a little while. Okay, go ahead and make your horizontal line for your horizon line on your paper. Okay. Um, a group of sheep is called a flock or a herd or a mob. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I had to learn about that. Some sheep facts, right? Okay, with your green uh, on your horizontal line or your horizon line, I want you to go ahead and do a zigzag line. Stop at your sheep. Remember, we practiced that, okay? Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. All the way across on your horizon line. Zigzag line, that's part of your skills that you've been learning in class. Go all the way across. Got it? Good, hold your green up whenever you're ready. All right, we're going to do triangles at the bottom. Is this the bottom? No. Is this the bottom? No. We're going to go to the bottom. Now remember, triangles are kind of tough, so let's just do our best. Two diagonal lines and a little horizontal line. Some of yours might be tall and skinny. Some might be very tiny. Go all the way across. I'm going to give you a minute to do that. Okay? Your turn. While you're doing that, just listen up. Okay? This is a cool fact. Um, a sheep can almost see all the way around, even behind him, without turning his head. Can you do that? I can't. He must. His eyes are on the side of his head, so without turning his head, he can kind of look around the back of, of what's behind him. That's why sheeps are kind of a little jittery or scared all the time because they can see everything all the way around. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get an orange crayon. We're going to do our sunshine at the top. Put a circle. Oh, that's not very orange. Let me get a different one. Put a circle and do some diagonal sun rays. Don't go on your sheep. Just go next to him. Just like that. Perfect. Keep your crayon. We'll do a row of flowers, circles, or dotted lines. Watch. All the way across. These are going to be our little flowers. You can color those flowers in whatever color you want. 
I'm going to do some purple. I'm going to do some blue. And let's see what else. I don't know if I have red. I'll do orange. Light orange. My little flowers. Okay, while you're doing that, let's see. Um, what do you think a sheep eats? I'm thinking maybe he definitely is not a meat eater. He eats, he's a, he's a, he eats vegetation or grass, small leafy plants. Um, they're called, uh, like, they, they primarily do eat grass, but they can eat and snack on other little things if they find them, but, but they are not meat eaters, so they are, they are not hungry for that. All right, go ahead and get your green, and you could do little stems. These are little vertical lines, and you could put a little leaf on them. Perfect. What is a baby sheep called? Anybody know what a baby sheep is called? They're called lambs. Have you ever seen a little lamb, a little baby lamb? They're furry, they're really tiny, super cute. And a daddy sheep is called a ram. That's why sometimes you see the rams, they have those big horns on their head, they're rams. And a mommy sheep is called a ewe. U E W E. It's kind of a strange word, huh? Okay, go ahead and grab your yellow. Let's color in our sunshine, make it a bright, beautiful sunshine. And I also went and put a beautiful sun ray between all of my orange sun rays. Perfect. On my masterpiece up here, I added a few flowers on the horizon line. You can go ahead and do that. You know how to do that. Watch. I'm going to do three purple circles. And I'm going to color them in. This one's blue. Let's see. Orange. I'll do a yellow one. If you have space to do them over here, you can. And fill up your page. Let's get some little leaves to add some detail. Okay. We, we can add clouds in a minute. I want to show you the grass that I put all over down here. I did little tiny diagonal lines. So those are slanted lines. Okay. So you can do slanted lines. This is, looks like our grass, and I'm filling in all the empty spaces that I have down by my sheep's little feet and by the flowers. Look. See? I just kept filling it in. I didn't color it in because I wanted to see my awesome grass lines. I wanted it to look like a field, right? Because that's kind of where... Uh, sheeps live right in nice fields or meadows grassy areas that's why sometimes in the in the nursery rhyme it said that the sheep would get lost because they're they usually live in really big fields and sometimes they just kind of wander off okay the last little thing that we can add can be clouds they're like cups and hump lines all put together right perfect Go ahead and do that. I want to show you one more picture. Teachers, you can always expand on your farm and add construction paper and other um, fine details, right? More gluing, more cutting. All right? All right, kiddos. I hope you enjoyed learning all about sheep and nursery rhymes and, and practicing your skills of zigzags and triangles, humps, cups, dots. Um, I hope to see you guys next week and have a great day.